three vertebrae which you're going to see in this chain is the cervical vertebrae, thoracic vertebrae, and the uh, lumbar vertebrae. The cervical vertebrae has got two characteristic features. One is that its spinous process is bifid. You can see it's two. Bifid means two uh, fins. So this is the bifid uh, spinous process. Spinous process is the process that extends to the posterior side. This is the transverse process, which goes to the lateral side. This is uh, the transverse process has got a foramen here. So you can hear there's a hole here, which is not seen in any other other vertebrae. So the moment you see a hole here, you know that it's a cervical vertebrae. Okay, bifid spinous process and transverse foramen. And here you can see there's another hole here. That's where the spinal cord is passing. Okay, so that is the cervical vertebrae. Thoracic vertebrae. The body of the vertebrae is bigger than the cervical. Bigger body and the spinous process is going down. So it's going down like this. So when you see this going down, this is definitely the thoracic vertebrae, okay? And the lumbar vertebrae, bigger body, and the spinous process is not going down like the thoracic, it's going back, but it's blunted. So one is bi uh, bifid, the other one is going down, and the third one, the lumbar, is going back, but blunted. Okay. So that is the difference between the three uh, vertebrae. And there are two things which I want you to know. One is atlas and axis. So this, uh, these two are cervical vertebrae because they have transverse foramen. Okay, and uh, this is the atlas. And we said that there is an occipital condyle on the condyle of the occipital bone. Oh, the occipital bone has got a condyle, and this is what fits into the. So this uh, attaches to the skull. So, and this is the vertebrae that gives the nodding movement. Okay. So the uh, uh, atlas articulates with the skull. And that joint, it's called the atlanto axial atlanto occipital joint, and that is what gives the nodding movement. The second vertebrae, which is the axis, is has got a very peculiar feature. It has got a process which extends up, and this process is called the dens or the odontoid process. So this is the odontoid process and this is how it fits and this is why you can turn your head no okay when you say no this is the joint which is moving and uh, uh, and you can see here you have the transverse foramen and you have a bifid which is typical feature of it um, a cervical vertebrae okay so this is, these are the five vertebrae which you need to know. This will be on the exam and we will ask you questions, okay? <laughs>